Hello friends, today we are going to do the topic of decimal and fraction. This is very simple yet important topic from competitive point of view. A lot of questions are asked from this topic in different competition. Let's first understand what we are going to do this in topic. We are going to cover what are recurring and non-recurring decimal, how to convert recurring decimal into fraction and how to handle fraction of the remainder. Let's first understand what are recurring number. In order to understand it, let us first divide 1 by 3. See how we divide 1 by 3. We put 1 inside, 3 outside. Since 1 is smaller than 3, we put a decimal here and 0 here. 3, 3, the 9. Yes, you know it. It's 1, 0. 3, 3, the 9. 1, 0. 3, 3, the 9. You can see that 3 in the quotient repeats infinitely. We can represent it as 1 by 3 as 0 0.3333 infinitely and another way of representing it is 1 by 3 is equal to 0.3 dot. So <clears throat> if a single digit repeat after the decimal, we simply put a dot on it. In the same way, if 135 is divided by 99, we get 1.363636 infinitely or represent it as 1.36 bar. So if a set of digit repeat after the decimal, we put simply a bar on it. These two examples were examples of recurring decimal. So we can simply say that a decimal number in which a digit or a set of digit repeats after the decimal continuously and infinitely. So simply we can say that a decimal number in which a digit or a set of digit repeat infinitely or continuously after the decimal, such a decimal number is known as recurring decimal. And if no such repetition is there, so such a number is known as non-recurring decimal number. An example of non-recurring decimal number is, you can write 1 by 4 as 0.25. So here no repetition is there. So we can say it's a non-recurring. Now coming back to the recurring number, the recurring number are again of two types. One is pure recurring and another is mixed recurring. Pure recurring are the recurring in which all the digits after the decimal repeats. In this example 0.6666 is an example of pure recurring. And as the name suggests, mixed recurring is the recurring decimal in which some of the digits repeat while some do not repeat. Example of mixed recurring is 0.179 bar. Here, 1 is repeated and 79 is not repeated. So these were examples of pure recurring and mixed recurring. And hopefully, now you have understood what are recurring and non-recurring decimal and what are pure recurring and mixed recurring decimal number. So now we will do the conversion of recurring decimal into fraction. See, this is very important. This conversion type question are asked in lot of exams. You can say many number of times in lot of exams repeatedly these type of question are asked. So we we'll, now we will see how to convert recurring decimal into fractions. As there are two type of recurring number, one is pure and another is mixed recurring. So in conversion, first we will see how to convert pure recurring into decimal. In order to do that, let us say x is equal to 0.7 dot. You can write it as x is equal to 0.7777 infinitely. We multiply this equation on both sides by 10 to get 10x on left side. And on right hand side, it is 7.7777. If we subtract these two equations, we get 9x. On right hand side, it's 7. So x comes out to be 7 by 9. Similarly, if we have to convert x is equal to 0.19 bar, we can write it as 0.191919 infinitely. We multiply both this equation by 100 to get 100x on the left hand side. On right hand side, it will be 19.191919. We subtract these two equations to get 99x on left hand side. 
and right hand side it's 19 so x comes out to be 19 by 99 so one peculiar logic you can see here is that here in denominator 1 9 is there and here in denominator 2 9s are there so one simple method of converting pure recurring into decimal fraction is just simply putting the number of nines in the denominator equal to number of digits repeated here one digit was repeated we put one nine here here two digits were repeated we put two nine in the denominator similarly if you are asked to convert one seven nine bar into decimal fraction the simplest method will be 179 upon 999 so the idea is to put number of nines in the denominator equal to number of digits repeated so <coughs> this is the way of converting pure recurring into decimal i repeat the method of conversion of pure recurring into decimal is just putting the nine in the denominator equal to the number of digits repeated now let us see how to convert mixed recurring into decimal say we have to convert x is equal to 0.239 bar the number to be converted into decimal fraction is 0.239 bar see how we do it we write x as 0.239 39 39 infinitely we multiply first this equation on both sides by 10 to get 10x is equal to 2.39 39 39 see our intention is to make two equation in such a way that digits after the decimal are same in order to do that we will multiply this equation on both side by 100 to get 1000 x on left hand side and right hand side it will be 239.393939 39. we subtract these two equation we get 990x on the left hand side and on right hand side we get 237 so x comes out to be 237 upon 999 and zero so we get on left hand side 990x on right hand side is 237 we get x is equal to 237 upon 990 so one thing that will come in your mind is that the method of converting pure recurring is very simple we put simply number of nines equal to the number of digits repeated so can we have some logic here definitely the logic is there see the shortcut try to understand it let us say we have to convert 0.239 into fraction the method is just write the complete digits 239 minus the digit which is not repeated here in this case is 2 divided by number of nines equal to number of digit repeated as in the case of pure recurring followed by number of zeros equal to number of digits not repeated so we get 237 upon 990 i repeat write the complete number minus the digit which is not repeated divided by number of nines equal to number of digits repeated followed by number of zeros equal to number of digits not repeated say we take another example if we had to convert 0.1238 bar into decimal fraction we will simply write 1238 minus the digits which are not repeated in this case they are 12 divided by number of nines equal to number of digits repeated followed by number of zeros equal to number of digits not repeated we get 1226 upon 9900 <coughs> so i repeat the method of converting mixed fraction mixed recurring into fraction is simply write the number minus write the digit which is not repeated followed by number of, divided by number of nines equal to number of digits repeated then number of zero equal to number of digits not repeated so this was the method of converting mixed recurring into fraction <clears throat> now let us do some question based on these two concept first question is what is the fractional value of 0.727272 in finite game? yes you have identified it correctly it's definitely a pure recurring number of the type 0.72 bar yes 
to convert it into fraction the method is simple you know it now so we simply put number of nines in the denominator equal to number of digits repeated it's 72 by 99 9 8 the 9 11 the so it's 8 by 11 very simple we do one more question what is the fraction value of 0.1232323 yes it's definitely a mixed recurring number 0.123 bar now you do it yes you will write it as 123 minus the digit which is not repeated you are correct divided by number of 9 yes definitely two nines followed by number of 0 num equal to number of digits not repeated so it will be 122 by 990 and in simplest form it will be 61 and 495 <clears throat> so idea is once you understand the concept it is very easy to solve the question now we do one more question after spending 1 by 6 of the income a person has rupees 60 with him find the total income it is the question based on the remainder of the fraction. How we do it? In detail, we write let the number be x, 1 by 6 as spending, x minus x by 6 and so on. We do it by logic. If someone spent 1 by 6 of the income, what is left with? He is left with simply 5 by 6 of the income because dot 1 minus 1 by 6 is 5 by 6. So we simply write 5 by 6 of the income is equal to 60 so income comes out to be 72 very simple so if one spent three fourth he is left with one fourth if one spent two third he is left with one third and so on so this is the idea of solving fractions of the remainder we will have further questions on which there will be multiple fraction of remainder there this method works wonderfully now we will do one more example Ram spent 20% of his income then he spends 50% of his income if he still has rupees 300 with him find the total income see 20% and 50% this add up to 70% yes exactly if someone spent 70% of his income what is left with? Yes, it's 30 percent. So 30 percent of income in rupees is equal to 300. It gives us income as 1000. So very simple. You get the question of this type also. Now we do one more question which is of multiple remainder. A spend 1 by 2 of his income on food, 2 by 3 of the remaining on clothes, 3 by 4 of the remaining on education, if she still has rupees 24 with her, find her total income. Let us see how we do it. If A spend 1 by 2 of his income on food, what she is left with? She is left with 1 by 2. Yes, exactly. So income is I. She is left with, with I into 1 by 2. Now, this is the remainder. Now, if she spend 2 thirds of this remaining, this remaining means this part. She will left with 1 third of it. Now, she is left with this much this is the remainder again she spent three fourth of the remaining on education three fourth of the remaining on education means three fourth of this amount if she spent three fourth of this amount she will left with one fourth yes so final finally she is left with i into one by two into one by three into one by four which is given to be equal to 24 rupees so i upon 24 is 24 gives us income as 24 square which is 576 so with this method is very handy we will directly do the fraction of the remainder now let us see one more example d is a recurring decimal of type point a1 a2 a1 a2 a1 a2 a1 a2, a1, a2, a1, a2. here a1 a2 a are a single digit number between 0 and 9 both inclusive this number d when multiplied by which of the following number gives a product which is an integer. This is again students a question of pure recurring number. Yes, you have identified it correctly. It's point a1 a2 bar. 
So you can solve it as point A1 A2 when converted it into fraction you will get A1 A2 upon 99. Yes, very simple question, a bit verbose but very simple. You will definitely get these type of question in the exams. So denominator is 99. To get an integer we should have an option which is a multiple of 99 and only one option is a multiple of 99 that is 297 and hence is the answer very simple once i repeat once again you if you know the concept it will be very easier to understand now students we did three concepts one was what were recurring and non-recurring the conversion of recurring into decimal fraction and to handle fractions of the remainder based on this we are giving you exercise Please read it carefully. First question. What is the fractional value of 0.595959? What is the fractional value of 0.345 bar? X spends 8 by 9 of the income. Then he spent 3 by 7 of the remaining. If he still has rupees 40 with him, find the total. These are the three questions. Please do it. One more question you have to do is this one. Please read it. D is a recurring decimal of type point ABC, ABC, ABC. Here ABC are single digit number between 0 and 9, both inclusive. This number D when multiplied by which of the following number gives a product which is an integer. Hopefully, you have solved the questions. The answer to these questions are first one 59 by 99, second one 17 by 45, third 630, and last one is 999. Thank you.